Hey, this video is about how to navigate if your baby is injuring you during breastfeeding because they're pinching you. Um, this was a big part of problem solving for my son and I. He had these little tiny fingers that were acting like vice grips, but also he wasn't just pinching, he was grabbing a hold of my skin just the tiniest little bit and rolling it back and forth between his fingers. And the problem with that kind of pinch is that you don't even necessarily realize you're being pinched. There's just a sudden burning sensation when you have that little skin and it's that rolling motion. Um, so I, at one point I actually wonders like what's wrong with my arm because I have this burning sensation traveling up my arm and it was actually because he had a nerve essentially that he got in a hold of and was just rubbing around. So what do you do when your baby's pinching you? Here are a couple of things. It can be either your baby just testing out their strength. Look what I can do. I feel so strong when I do this. Um, or it's a soothing motion. If you ever noticed, you know, baby's just sitting there rubbing their earlobe or maybe a blanket that they have, they're rubbing the material between their fingers. Rubbing things in between the fingers is a very common baby soothing motion. And so I'm gonna start off there. If your baby is simply trying to soothe themselves, but they're doing it by grabbing your skin and pinching, or by rolling your skin in between your fingers, here are some options. Um, you can try giving them material. Okay, so hey sweetheart, no, and put something in their hands that they're able to rub that. So whether it's your own shirt, maybe you have a blanket, maybe there's a stuffed animal, um, just whatever it is, if you can put anything else in their hands, then that gives them something else to do with their fingers. My one caution, if you use your clothing, your clothing will keep changing. You'll be wearing different outfits on different days. If you have a newborn, you may have worn the same shirt for seven days in a row, no judgment. Um, but eventually your clothing is going to change. And so using your own clothing can be really good um, because they don't become reliant on a single sensation. I, a caution that I came across from parents who use that technique of giving their child something else is that if they gave their child the same blanket or the same stuffed animal, their child began to associate soothing and comfort, especially because they had the breast there at the time, with that object. So when you come across those scenarios where your child sort of reaches a point where like they can't function if they don't have that blanket or that stuffed animal because they have that level of attachment to it um, that ended up developing they felt as a result of oh you know that was the thing that I kept giving them while I was breastfeeding so they associated the level of comfort they received at mother's breast which is pretty much the most powerful comfort they're able to get with the object that they kept consistently having given to them so if you want to avoid that kind of attachment with an object um, you can just make sure that you keep changing things up. So just pulling over a piece of material from your own shirt helps you to avoid that situation. If your child is pinching you and rolling your skin because they're testing out their strength, it now becomes a behavior modification scenario where I'm simply trying to teach my child, honey, you can't do that. This is not supportive of our journey together. You are hurting me. Um, and especially, you know, when we reach the point where <laughs> we feel like, get off me. Um, okay, well, that's, that's not helpful for your journey together. So this behavior needs to change. Here are some ways that you can modify that. Um, if every time your baby pinches you, you jump or startle, if the world shakes every time that they pinch, they may not like that sensation, so they may choose to stop. You can use sounds, uh, so emphasis with your voice, ow or no. And we're not yelling or screaming, but we're using a firm voice that says, I don't like this. And you can even use your words to say, I don't like this. Don't let people talk you out of, your baby doesn't understand. No, there's so much they understand. And you are at this stage laying out language foundations. They are starting to piece together that when I hear that tone of voice and I hear that combination of sounds, it means mommy's not happy. And so they are learning. You can say, I don't like that. You need to stop. Time outs work well, so you might find that your baby responds to no. If they pinch, then they were taken off the breast and set down. Oh, if I pinch, I lose the boob. Okay, I don't want that to happen. I'm not going to pinch anymore. So time outs might do the job. And the last one is a physical stimulus indicating to baby, no, this is the limb that needs to stop doing what it's doing. So if baby is pinching you, then doing a nip. Now, if they're pinching with all their strength, you don't pinch with all your strength. Please don't do that because you are an adult. Your hardest pinch is so much harder than their hardest pinch. Um, we're not pinching, we're not twisting, we're not injuring our child. What we're aiming to do instead is just give a physical response back of, how, okay, no, I do not like that. I'm just 
getting a little bit of their skin in between my fingers and doing a nip. So I don't like that. Um, and I'll just let you know that that was the thing that ended up getting my son to stop pinching me. I was black and blue across my chest. I had little bruises all up my arm and across here. Um, I was getting angry. I loved my son and I wanted him off me because every time he pinched me, I felt violated. It's just, I love you so much, but you are hurting me. And in a very sensitive area of my body, please stop. Um, so I tried everything else. I tried talking, using my words, time out. It wasn't until I started doing the nips that he responded. So the first time that I did it, um, he pinched me. So I nipped him and he looked kind of startled and pulled his hand back, but reached right back up again and he pinched me. So I nipped him and he kind of looked startled. But then I saw his face, he looked like he was thinking, and he looked right at me, and he very slowly reached his hand up and pinched me, and so I nipped him, and he did a, okay, nodded, and then he didn't pinch me anymore for that round of breastfeeding. Um, after that, he still took a few more rounds to get the fact that, oh yeah, no, I'm not supposed to do that, because he would forget, and he would go back to doing what he wanted to do, but each of those nips reminded him and I was able to heal. We never went back to that place where I was black and blue all the way across. Um, so pinching, it hurts. Um, and if you're having a strong emotional response to being pinched on a regular basis, um, there's nothing wrong with you. That's totally normal. So you're not a bad parent for feeling that way or for feeling like get my kid off of me. Um, but we can modify that behavior. It might take a little bit of time. Your kid might get it right away or it might take longer, uh, but it can be modified. And so knowing that, I hope this information has helped to preserve your breastfeeding relationship to support you on your breastfeeding journey. Um, I hope that helps you to meet your goals together as a family. So all the best. Bye.